So, you want to be a god, a goddess. First things first, you need a certain propensity of a diamond that is inborn into you. Second of all, you need to undergo Eleusinian initiation. That means that your spirit, your diamond, is submerged in Tartarus, in the abyss. Then it becomes transformed in interplanetary zones and you are designated to a certain sphere or its order by the gods and goddesses. Then you do not become a Marvel hero of a form. You become a suffered, tormented creature that finds himself, herself in an anomalous world of objective demonic forces of objective intelligences of spirits surrounding you. Then if you survive, and the last one survived 7 years, I survived 17 so far. You are not a god yet, you are a mortal that crossed Tartarus and has a certain ability to influence with your logos if it's not thieved and squandered or squandered as a magician. Yet, yet, even if they kill your soul, deprive you of all the powers and forces and neutralize you, the gods remember you. So you try to live a decent life, a virtuous life, with mortal senses, mortal skills, and so on. So on. The greatest ordeal comes after you die. Trismegistos. Why so? Because imagine that a woman is giving birth to a child in terrible pain and to be born into the world of gods and the stars you give yourself birth away from biological organic life of mortals into the world of powers and forces. So I expect that after I die, as I was informed, I will go to tremendous torment, going through all my pains of the past. And there were plenty, it was a well of pain that I need to cross and bridge in order to gather all my divine qualities around the Ankh, the mesh tree that was built in me by the Nungal mesh, by the Babylonian and Egyptian gods in good hope that I will survive and I wish you the same journey at the same time I wish you won't suffer this torment this much to any of you that would like to aim for that quality and while I was surrounded by ignorance of many a monkeys that were envious the scourge of the world that the identities, the stories for their personal gain. Now becoming a force, a power, a god is about complete heavy duty forces, commitments and obligations because you belong to a greater order of powers and forces. And what happens then? You are not a mortal anymore. You don't think like a human animal. You are impassionate, objective and strong. You belong to the forces of the cosmos, of the universe. What follows? All human mortal instincts, biological cravings and so on are eliminated. You become the perfect rectification of your diamond that is torn away from any impurities with the great fire, torments and tests and ordeals. So if any one of you still wants to be a god or a goddess, be prepared that in order to be a high ranking little god made from mortals, you need to go through hell in life. And when you die, you go through hell in order to arrive at a stage that may be uncertain unless facilitated by gods themselves if they want to admit you to their council. So help me gods and may I pass successfully after death. This life was hell but I am ready for the next stage of the transformation to shed my serpent skin and become akin to dragon gods above. Thank you.